Welcome back to Lens Studio. In this part we will continue to build the shader and create the transition between the real world and the portal. For the transparent layer we need an image from the camera. In the resources you will find it as device camera texture. Let's create a texture to the object parameter. Texture to the sample and a screen UV cords. Connect it all together. Put device camera texture in the input on the material. It looks like the geometry has disappeared. That's because we are now projecting the camera image onto it. But our geometry is actually still there. Let's create a noise that will distort it. I'll take simple noise, plug the UV into the seed input. Stretch it a little bit. So, it looks like waves. Add animation with scroll chords. Set direction and speed. We will remap from 0 and 1 to minus 1 and 1 to make distortions work in both directions. Now we can add it to the UV channel we used to read device camera texture. The distortion is too high, just need to multiply it by a small value, like 0.05. Ok, let's do a mask for the transition from the transparent part to the water. Use the V channel of UV cords from this, as in the previous case with the water. Using the remap set the values so that the transition is in the right place. Subtract the noise and add a mask. Clamp the values. This will be the alpha of our water. Assemble it through construct vector. Now that the water layer has an alpha we can connect everything together by using the blend node. Connect the distorted image to the base input and the water to the color input. Ok, we have finished our shader. In the next video we will add bubbling water using particles. See you there!